Installing the EK water block to the graphics card is a simple but time-consuming process. To start, remove the existing cooler from the card by using a small Phillips head screwdriver to extract the retaining screws from the back. Then, as is the case with the R9290X and some other models, remove additional retaining screws from the rear I.O. Using high-purity isopropyl alcohol and cotton balls, gently remove the existing thermal material from the GPU die. Note that unlike a CPU, GPUs don't have heat spreaders, so you need to be extra careful not to damage the exposed die. Next, EK Water Block includes thermal padding that can be applied to the power circuitry and RAM. For the power circuitry, put tiny dots of the included non-conductive thermal grease on the chips before slicing a strip of padding and applying it to them. After that, cut and apply rectangles of padding to each memory chip. Then add two more strips to the power circuitry on the left side of the card. I added a star of thermal grease per EKWB's instructions to the GPU die early, but any time is fine. Gingerly line up and apply the water block to the surface of the card, then hold it in place and flip the card over. Use the screws and washers included with the water block to affix it through the back of the card per the included instructions. The back plate is optional, but will help reinforce the card and frankly looks nicer. Apply the needed thermal material to the underside of the back plate, then attach it as the instructions indicate. And there you have a completely installed water block. The EK water block for the processor is a bit more involved than CPU blocks tend to be. First, just install the CPU in the motherboard as you would. Then find the parts included appropriate to your processor socket. Punch out the necessary parts of the rubber gasket per the included instructions, then hold it into place with the back plate on the underside of the motherboard. There are four long screws that you will then have to line up with washers on the tips and run through the mounting holes on the motherboard into the back plate. It can be difficult to line things up since EKWB doesn't offer any way to hold the back plate in place other than manual pressure. With the mounting system in place, remove the protective sticker from the bottom of the water block and determine how you're going to need to orient the inlet and outlet on the block, handily marked in and out. For this build, I need the outlet on the side closer to the video card. Squeeze a dot of thermal grease on the CPU heat spreader, then slide the block down on the mounting posts. Insert the four springs under the thumb caps. Install them similarly to how you'd add or remove the lug nuts when you change your tire, diagonally in sequence. So the first one goes on one corner, the second goes on the opposite, the third goes on an adjacent corner, and the fourth on the opposite corner. This allows you to apply fairly even pressure as you secure the block. With the block in place, we're ready to start installing the system in the case, so check back soon.